Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at a mini deck, mini uh, deck in a tin called a Stoller or Stoller uh, Tarot by Adam Stoller. And it's in a tin box and it's published by US Games. So it's been out a little over a year. It was uh, released back uh, around the fall, November 2021. It does come with a little guidebook, little white book. We'll take a look at that after we look at the cards. So it's been out a little over a year. So here's the tin. And here are the backs. And for those who are not familiar with the 10 card size. They're basically miniature. It's a miniature deck. Uh, and that gives you an idea of the scale comparing it to a plaid back standard tarot deck. So it's smaller pocket size, but not as many as some of them. You know, some of them are like really tiny mini. I kind of like the 10 box uh, size because it's portable. It's nice to use also as a clarifier deck. Um, and for petite hands, it's nice. But it's not so tiny that it's hard to shuffle or that you may lose them. Um, so I kind of I kind of like this size. And it gives you the uh, borderless feel, uh, feel, but yet th there's this little wh thin white border to kind of frame it. And they did rename this deck. Um, the swords have been renamed to spoons. The coins have been renamed to balloons. The buckets have been renamed to cups. And the brooms have been renamed to wands. So, and it's pretty obvious um, when you, when we go through the cards, you'll see. You don't, I mean, even if I didn't read that, you can't figure it out. All right, so let's zoom in nice and tight so you can see it clearly. So starting out, we have the full. Oh, and cardstock is nice. Well, US Game Street's cardstock, nice. Flexible, bendable for riffle shuffling. There is a little coating, but it's not plasticky feeling and it's not too um, plasticky where you feel hard and you can't bend it. All right, so we have the full. The Magician. So this is a cutesy little cartoonish kind of deck, but very readable. Uh, it follows the Rider Waite Smith deck pretty much, um, except it's been renamed. The Miners have been renamed. And of course the High Priestess has been changed to the Papess, the Empress, the Emperor. The Pope. So the Hierophant have been renamed to the Pope. The Lovers. The Chariot. Strength. The Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Oh, there's a little, I don't know who or what this creature is here <laughs> but there's someone on the tree doesn't look like a bird death temperance the devil the tower the star the moon the sun judgment and the world so that completes the Major Arcana. Now moving on to the Minor Arcanas. So the Balloons are the um, the coins. I, I almost wanted to say swords, but the spoons are swords. Because to me, balloon, you know, float in the air. But the balloons are traditionally coins. Yeah. So we have Ace of Balloons or Ace of Coins. That's interesting. That's different, not traditional. 
two balloons. So that's pretty traditional. He's balancing. There's the infinity symbol. Three of balloons. That's pretty traditional, although they're not in the church. But same concept. He's working. Four of balloons. Trying to hold on. <laughs> Five. Financial loss. Hardship, six, generosity, seven, eight, nine. So the lady in the nine of pentacles or nine of balloons here is uh, an older, it depicts an older, more mature lady. Which sort of makes sense because she's um, comfortable, accumulated wealth. Not to say that a young person can't accumulate wealth, but usually it takes time, wisdom, and experience, and a level of maturity to uh, accomplish. Unless you get it, you know, through heredit, her, through um, <laughs> inheritance. But so there are uh, a lot of young entrepreneurs, actually, these days, young savvy business people. Ten of wands, or oh, ten of wands, ten of balloons, or ten of coins or pentacles. Page of balloons, knight of balloons, queen of balloons, and king of balloons. Next is a suit of brooms. So traditionally brooms in this deck is uh, traditionally one so I guess you can tell with the fire here two he has the globe looking out into the city so a little bit more modern although there is some water it looks like there as well three of brooms four of brooms this is different so they're working together but we don't have the Oh, I was going to say we don't have the columns, but I guess this sort of represents the columns or in the castle. But it doesn't look like they're getting married or celebration. It looks like they're working. They're built perhaps teamwork working together. Five of brooms. Six of brooms. Pretty traditional. Seven of brooms. Eight of brooms. That's perfect for the brooms. Quick movement, nine of brooms, ten of brooms, heavy burden, page, knight of brooms, queen of brooms, and king of brooms. Little salamander there. Next suit is buckets, which is traditionally cups. So we have ace of buckets, lots of water, emotions flowing out. Two of buckets. Oh, that's neat. They're working together. Three of buckets. Celebration, friendship. Four of buckets. Five of buckets. <laughs> he can't see. <laughs> Six of buckets. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, page, knight, queen, and king. Next is a suit of spoons, which is traditionally swords. So we have ace of spoons, two of spoons, three of spoons, four of spoons, five of spoons. Six of spoons, seven of spoons, eight of spoons, nine of spoons, ten of spoons. Wow, that's a very painful scene. Page of spoons, knight of spoons, queen of spoons, and king of spoons. And here are the backs one more time. So 
let's take a look at the guidebook really quick. Oh, here's the listing. Spoons, the, of what they changed it to. But, okay, 2021 US Game Introduction. Cards, and then it goes into the meaning. The major arcana, upright meaning, reverse meaning. So there's no picture of the cards, but they do have about a paragraph, and then upright keywords and reverse meaning keywords. Let's see if it's the same for the minor. Yeah, it's the same. A pair about a paragraph worth, and then upright keywords and reverse keywords. a total of 62 pages all right so nice simple little portable deck if you um, are looking for a portable deck or you collect 10 cards deck or you need a clarifier deck and you want it to be a little smaller um, it's a nice deck very very readable and if you like cutesy little cartoonish theme, um, this may work for you. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Uh, as usual, I will put the link in the description underneath the video for those who are interested in purchasing it or reading more about it, learning more about it. And uh, I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.